Hello and welcome back to episode number 7 of my Atletico Madrid career mode. It's been a while guys, I've actually ended up slowing down just a little bit on the uploads, you know, giving myself some time for some other stuff basically, and of course we've really kick-started that building Barca series now, you know, we were nearly caught up on the number of episodes, but so far it's looking good in the Atletico Madrid career mode, you know, very different to what's going on in real life, you know, the results are interesting, um, and this month is going to be absolutely incredible, and we've got a lot and a lot of games it's going to be a busy busy christmas period that's for sure but we're going to be getting through five of them today we're only going to be missing out this game at the end of the month here against deportivo alava so we'll start next episode with that um, we're going to be getting past christmas day here guys and ending on the 29th of december so you know nearly a month's worth of action there's going to be five games in between that time and they're all winnable games guys in my opinion they all should be five wins here so this could be quite a fun episode let's go so guys, here we go. Again, tied lineups. That's been a real feature of this series. Let me know, guys, if you guys are having the same issue, because I'm a little bit concerned by this right now. I can't lie to you. It's a little bit weird how tired my players are getting compared to like other YouTubers and when I play even in other game modes, um, such as Ultimate Team, and even when I'm playing against my friends in kickoff, their players seem to be getting a lot more tired than me. So let me know if I'm doing something wrong, maybe just like sprinting too much or something like that. I don't know, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions for that. But for now, we're going to be starting off here, guys. Again, the tired lineups, as I mentioned. We brought Hernandez in, Savic in, Kalinic in. They're going to be bringing a lot of fresh legs. And let's go. Lamar gets that reverse ball through here to Juan Fran. Good ball into the front post. And Griezmann should have scored. He really should have scored. Brilliant ball in by Juan Fran. I just got a little touch in it, but not enough to guide it in. Griezmann with that ball in. Decent ball. Not a bad effort, too, by Sal Niguez, who maybe should have scored. Even though it's on the bicycle kick, he had a lot of time and space there. Oh, it's actually really close. Unlucky from Saul. Oh, good chance here. I don't know where our defence went. I don't know where they went. And Girona take the lead. A really interesting goal that I don't know what happened there. It was as if Jimenez came far too far over to the left-hand side there. There was a massive gap in behind Juanfran. I don't know where the cover was. But there you go, guys. You know, coming back onto this career on Legendary with the with the fitness issues, it's difficult. It really is. But there you go. We're one they down to Girona here. Probably not deserved. They barely attacked us, if I'm being honest. But there you go. I mean... Yeah, Jimenez is f way too far over there. What is that? That's shocking and a good finish. Rodri, Kalinic, Griezmann, Coco didn't really have the pace there to get in behind his, his marker. Does have the ball though into Griezmann. Griezmann holds off one but gives it away. Lamar on the hit though! Lamar with a brilliant goal! What a goal by Thomas Lamar and we're leveling this one out of nowhere from Thomas Lamar. Brilliant finish by the man from France and we'll take that boys absolutely out of nowhere but that is what we like from Atletico kind of bounced around everywhere in the penalty area and look at this Griezmann does well it's actually a poor clearance I don't know what you're doing kind of chipped up but what a goal by Lamar it's genius got a good chance here actually the left back's gone a little bit of walkabout so got a chance here for Lamar into Kalinic Kalinic gets it back in there and Lamar will do well to get in here Lamar has got in there Lamar with the shot Lamar with the goal he is an absolute star of this team right now I always say this almost every episode, but he looks like the one to take us forward in this series. Another brilliant goal by Thomas Lamar, and we've regained um, the advantage here, even though we never had it. But, you know, we went 1-0 down, and if I'm being honest, it's a brilliant response. Again, poor defending, so strong from Lamar, and that finish doesn't even have to set outside the defender, just whips it into the corner. Genius. Okay, good ball. Griezmann's in. If he can hold his own in front of goal, it's Griezmann. That's a really good save by Borneo. Oh, that should have been the game there, really, from Griezmann. Good save. Okay, to whip it in. Header comes in. And it's in. It's a hat trick for Thomas Lamar of all people in the penalty area after we missed that chance with Griezmann. This guy is an absolute gem, guys. Pick him up in your career modes. Sign him an ultimate team. Just get him on the FIFA. He's insane. He's just winning headers as well there. Look at that header from Lamar. Goalkeeper gets fingertips on him. It's in the corner either way. What a header. You know, we'd expect Jimenez, Savic, Saul to get on their heads on that one. And it's Thomas Lamar, his seventh goal of the La Liga season. What a beast. And it looks like we've gone ahead and got ourselves an injury here. This is just not good. It's Correa, someone who can play in multiple positions for us. He went down a couple of minutes ago, and it looks like he's gone down again here. And he's going to have to be taken off, which is such a shame because we just brought him on as a substitute. And he's going straight back off the pitch here. I'm going to be putting... Um, let's put Adias up there. A bit more defensive, and it's just such a shame that... He lasts another injury in a, in a slim squad. I'm going to talk to you guys after this game about January editions because we need some. And there you go, guys. The final whistle blows. We get a 3-1 victory there. Thomas Lamar going out to collect the match ball. 
everything went perfectly there on Legendary as well, our first game back for a while. Apart from the fact that we've ended up with two injuries, I think, there. Correa and Koke both could be out for a considerable amount of time. And that's going to bring me on to my next point really nicely, so we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, so it's only one injury, but it is a massive injury. It's Correa. He's out for three months. That is just the most awful news you could possibly see. Um, Godin wanted to rest at the end of the last episode. He didn't play, so that's obviously perfect. Um... But Correa being injured gives us a massive problem, guys. We're almost out of players, basically. And we're going to have to start using our other players a lot more. But, thankfully, thanks to you guys in the comment section, you guys have been leaving your suggestions for players we need to get. I've been adding all of them to the shortlist as they've been coming out. So I went through every episode, looked for any suggestion, and they're all in the shortlist now. So I said we needed a, we needed a new midfielder. And we've got um, Parejo, Yaramendi, we've got Barea, and Sanson. Those are the centre mid options that you guys have requested. I'll be looking for some more myself. I'm sure you guys are going to be leaving more in the comment section down below. Um, I also said we wanted like a forward attacking sort of player. Iago Aspas was there, Lacazette, Kramaric, Iñaki Williams and Milik. All nice realistic options in my opinion. Um, and there's one other position I need guys, that's a centre half. So if you guys could look for a nice centre back, pro probably with good stamina if I'm being honest because how dreadfully we're doing so far. That would be brilliant. In January, these two are going to be going, and we're just waiting for these two to go now. Um, so not too bad in terms of getting rid of the dead wood. But thank you guys for your suggestions. We need signings, that's for sure, with the amount of injuries we've got right now. Right then, guys, here we are. It's the cup game. We've got a 2-0 lead on Angergut, so we should be all right here. They've actually put Lamar in there, but he's not starting. Maybe he should be because of the form he's in, but that's the lineup I've gone for. The likes of Montero and Garces come in. Moyejo's on the bench. I've tried to mix up as much as possible. You know, players like Costa who didn't even start last game, they're not going to be starting again, getting a double rest almost. So I'm really trying to preserve my players here. Just remember that Dan needs to play in goal, so he's in goal there. And uh, on Legendary, it's always going to be tough, especially away from home. Let's go. Interesting ball over here to Jimenez, who rolls into Partey, who settles it for Rodri, who's in. And it's a decent save there. Rodri not known for scoring goals, but it's a decent effort. Solid save. Montero again retrieving the ball here. Montero. Rodri's going to hit it again. Another brilliant save to deny Rodri. Here comes Vitolo now. Flicked back to the six. And Partey on his left foot. And that's wide. Probably should have scored that. Ball on the back here. To Vitolo. Back into Garces who gets around the back. Garces, good ball out, saved. And now on earth, that hasn't gone in, I'm not quite sure. Brilliant block to deny Kalinic. Adias. Good ball out to Martins. Should be in behind here. Good pace to keep up with him actually, to be fair, Martins. Ball to the centre now. Flitch on the corner. Garces is in. Garces maybe should have scored. That would have been a massive goal for him. Flashes it wide. Flick on that. Kalinic. Partey. Garces is in. Garces straight at the goalkeeper again. Ball in by Martins. Kalinic with the header. Kalinic wide. Vitolo gets there. Mayahos in. Mayahos pulls it back. Chance in there and it's over. Brilliant block. In by Martins. Partey's header. Brilliant save. And there you go, guys. The game ends nil-nil. You know, not what we wanted. Of course, we would have liked to get a 1-0 victory from that. You know, make the aggregate 3-0, a little bit more. But we don't want to end the game. We know we did. We just couldn't find the finishing touch, though. I didn't really like the midfield partnership of um, Rodri and Partey. They weren't good enough for bringing the ball forward for us. You know, they're not technical enough players. You know, Granada didn't challenge our goal. I was really impressed with the youngster Montero at the back there. But it doesn't matter, of course. The clean sheet's nice to have, too, of course, for Adan as well. We dominated the game, we dominated possession, we know that, but with our top players on the pitch there, we couldn't find the finishing touch. A little bit frustrating, but it does not matter. Onto the, Liga, onto the La Liga games. And well, guys, I said we'd be going to some La Liga games, but we've got the biggest game of our season so far, uh, basically. Even though we've already played Real, we've already played Barca. Look at the Champions League groups right now, guys. We have to win this game. We can't draw it, we'll be left on nine points. We're away to Bruges here. Um... Dortmund and Monaco, if they draw, then they'll be on 11 points. So let's have a look at the goal difference here. Um, our goal difference is for... We're, we're on zero. Okay, we're on a little bit of an issue for goal difference, guys. If we can win this game 3-0, we should be securely in that next round. Even if we win, we should be all right, because I'm hoping either Monaco or Dortmund can win that game, and then all we need to do is win. That's it. That's basically it. So if they draw, we're in a bit of an issue. We have to win. We need to make sure they don't draw. That's the issue. Or oh, that's 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 what's happening here, basically. Um, we can go in our normal kit, can't we? We'll take our kit to Bruges, thank you very much. Um, and this is how the team's looking, I think. And I think we should actually be all right for this one, although... I'm going to bring... No, I'm not. I'm not going to bring Savic in there, but I am going to bring Hernandez in there. I'm at full-back. And apart from that, we're going to go just like that, guys. That's the team I want to be taking here. This is an absolutely massive game. 
Um, we're not playing in the rain for once, but on Legendary, this is going to be incredibly tough. This is the game that we need to remember. Um, and yeah, of course, they've already ticked Monaco and the Dortmund game. That's going to be huge. I hope I've explained that well enough, but let's go. We're going to need Lamar this game. That is absolutely for sure with his form. You know, can he get us another hat trick? That would be absolutely insane, wouldn't it? We got, got an early start Halo with Diego Costa. I'm going to hit it. Oh, good save. That was nearly an incredible start. More of that, please. Oh, lovely ball. Here comes Koke. We have men in the middle too. Koke. Griezmann's one of them. Griezmann scores. And we lead in Bruges. It's Antoine Griezmann. Brilliant header there. And that could be the goal that sends us to the knockout stages. It's good from Griezmann. It really is. We need to give a clean sheet now, though, boys. I'm not going to go on defensive because I'm feeling pretty confident this game. You know, we're playing some good stuff at the moment, that's for sure. And yeah, let's keep going, boys. Good start, that really good start. We've already been probing a lot this game. And um, we do get the goal we deserve. Brilliant ball in that. Very brave header from Griezmann. He's good at that. Rodri. Koke hits it. Koke! Oh, what a goal by Koke. Are you absolutely kidding me? On the first time effort. And that is an absolutely genius goal by Koke. I don't know where... Um, those Atletico Madrid fans came from, but there you go. He loves it. He's scored a lot of goals like that in around those central left positions. And the sort of positions Hazard likes to find himself in. Look at this, rolled into him. And that hit is genius. That is an unbelievable goal. I love when they whip in like that. And that's the 2 0 lead. That's the 2 0 lead we wanted. We've been playing well, expensed a lot of energy, and we get the two goals for it. Oh, they're in here. They're clean through on us. Oh, Black. Oh, he saved it. What a stop by Old Black. When we needed him most, that is huge. We didn't want to be giving up the, the goal difference there. And the back got in. I don't think that's the, the Amrabat from Monet from um who plays for Morocco at the World Cup, but what a save that is by Old Black. Right then guys, at half time, Dortmund have a 1-0 lead at Monaco. We've got a 2-0 lead. That means that Dortmund will be coming top, will be coming second. Not how we wanted the group to go, but we'll take it. As I said, we've spent a lot of energy here. That's what we needed to do for this one. We've been running around the pitch like madmen. Koke has gone to have a goal and assist, and let's go for the second half. Oh, Costa as well. Costa with a chance. Costa very calm. Flicked on. Oh, chance. Oh, what a miss that is by Lamai. When it was weak foot. That should have been 3-0. Mess in the six-yard box. Don't know how he's missed that with the form he's in. Costa. Sal takes it up again. Sal. Oh, good save by Letty Cup. In by Koke. Nearly came in there by Godin. Out as far as Thomas Partey. Good save by the goalkeeper. Griezmann! Oh, that was nearly another classic goal. Wow. And there you have it, guys. A 2-0 victory should be enough. Lamar's got non injured there. If that is an injury, that is going to absolutely be ridiculous. But fingers crossed it isn't. And um, we get the 2-0 victory there. Really dominant display, actually. 2-0. And the result was 1-0 to Dortmund. We're going to be progressing into the round of 16 of the Champions League. Thank God for that. The group didn't go as we wanted it to. That is for sure. But we ended up getting a result there. I'm really happy with that. Um, and, wow, look how intense that league is right now. We've got a game in hand, of course. And two easy games coming up, actually. Got to do some training here. I didn't, haven't really been showing guys too much recently. And I forgot to do it last week. So... Let's make up for it this week. Good improvement there by Gabthes. And let's keep going. Got six emails here. Nice work. Okay, we've completed an objective there. That's nice to see. We've got, we're not on track here for something. That's youth development. Um, increase our overall by at least 10 points. You know, we're going to be trying to do that, I suppose. Spain and Northern Ireland. That'll be massive. If we can get Spain in this career, that'll be brilliant. Got a few Sky reports back. Again, let me know who you guys want me to sign. And a lot of money there from the Champions League. Good emails, that. And now this game is a way to buy the lead. Let's see what lineup we're going to be using. Right then, guys, here we are. Via the lead away. As I said, I'm going to be showing you guys the lineup. This is what I've gone for. Made a few changes here and there. Maybe not as many as you guys would have expected, considering it's via the lead. But I think we've got to take every game as serious as we possibly can. I'm looking very tight at the Liga right now. We can regain top spot with a win today, so let's do it. Okay. So, oh, he was in there and they just held him up. Oh, he's going to get the ball back here, though. With Griezmann, and look who's in. It's Thomas Lamar. Lamar with the shot, Lamar with the finish, it's what's happening right now, it's Thomas Lamar again, again and again on the score sheet, the absolute star of the series so far, this guy is an unbelievable talent guys, and we take the lead, Saul Niguez by the way has had a quality game for us, he hasn't been too good lately, but he's been brilliant today, lovely from Griezmann, he plays it in, um, and Lamar, brilliant finish, that is what he wanted from him, that's what he got from him, here's his 8th goal in La Liga, he's probably going to be getting our top scorer award at the end of the year if he carries on this Rodri Partey Vitolo just trying to build up here maybe we could do with a second goal you know 
Costa. Our oh, chance here for Lucas Hernandez, who scores off the bench. Lucas Hernandez, of all people, has made it 2 0. Would you believe that? I kind of brought him on there for some defensive support that so we double up on that left hand side, but. He's in the penalty area and he's got the goal. I told him, stay on the edge of the box, come back on defence. But he's in there and he's won us the game, really. He's secured it, hasn't he? Costa with a nice flick on. And it's actually a good finish by Lucas once he got there. He can shoot. I know Lucas Hernandez can shoot. And he's got himself a goal there, so fair enough. And there you go, guys. Full time. Another 2-0 victory for the boys there. We're definitely going to be taking that one. Goals from Lamar and Lucas Hernandez, two of our French players. And apart from that, nothing much happened, as you guys can tell from the match highlights. Very, very dull game, actually. I'll struggle to create chances, I'm not going to lie, which is a little bit frustrating because we put a really good side out for that one. But there you go. Three more points. Let's move on to the Espanol game and our final game of the episode, actually. So then, guys, here we are, the final game of this five-game episode. It's been a busy Christmas period, and again, we're bringing in the rotation. The side actually holding up all right, again, for the energy. Um, not too bad here, just four days before Christmas. A few players have come in. Um, you know, Kalinic, Vitolo, and um, we've also got Martins in there. So it's a nice rested team, and I'm excited. Um, Espanyol, never an easy team to play against. Quite angry and filthy. So let's go. Vitolo, chance from the back here. Now for Lucas Hernandez, not going to whip it in because there was just no one really in there. Chance for Rodri on the edge. Now Rodri with a hit. And oh my goodness me, Diego Lopez could only stand and watch and just hope because that was so nearly in from the Rodrigo. And look at this for a brilliant hit by the lad. And it's so nearly in that top corner. Wow. It's got to be Inaldo Martins, who's in behind again. And Naldo has come across again. Martins comes inside of him. And there's Vitolo. It was actually a nice pick up by Martins. Good header to Griezmann. Hits it. Griezmann hits the crossbar. Oh, crazy scenes here. And we should have the lead somewhere in there. And we're still looking for that first elusive goal. Oh, good chance around the back here. Martins trying to keep up. Oh, brilliant arm by Oblak. What a save that is. We've got a game on our hands here. Okay. Back to Juan Fran. Martins, Juan Fran, Koke, Kalinic, Vitolo, and there it is, the opening goal, similar to the goal that Koke scored um, against Club Rouge in the Champions League, and it's Vitolo who hasn't really scored a lot of goals for us, I mean, last year, two years ago, I know he was like a starter in the Spain squad, um, but ever since his move to Atletico, he hasn't gone off game time, he hasn't really done much, and that's his first goal this season for us, as you guys can see there, I will take it from Vitolo, nice stuff. Chance to for Griezmann, who's in and can hit this one. Griezmann, deflection on the shot. It's well defended. Kalinic with the header. And that's not too good either. Chance for Griezmann, couldn't finish it. Lovely flick on that. Kalinic and Griezmann's in. It's Antoine Griezmann. And it's been saved. And he's there on the rebound. And it's off the bar. And Kalinic has missed an open goal. And then I cannot believe it. How on earth has Griezmann not scored that? And then Kalinic afterwards. What on earth is that, man? But that is just straight FIFA aids. The Griezmann shot, I don't know how it didn't go in. Um, and then you got the rebound even, and that just somehow deflected onto the crossbar. And then when it came back to Kalinic, I mean, are you kidding me, EA? That has to be a goal. I cannot believe that. If we don't win this game now. Extremely high press on here by Espanyol in these closing minutes. It's a really good chance here. And the ball gets through, and there's a goal for Espanyol. That is unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable, guys. I cannot believe that after that miss that we just had, they go ahead down the other end and score one of the most undeserved goals we've conceded this series. Espanyol have taken the lead. Not taking the lead, they've equalised. Uh, and a draw here wouldn't be the worst result with our league position, but it's just so shit. It's so um, shocking the way it came out. It's really, really such a shame, really. So, now looking to bring the ball forward for us. Rodri. Kalinic. Antoine Griezmann. Kalinic, Griezmann, Vitolo, Griezmann, Vitolo's in, and Vitolo misses, and that's the full-time whistle, it ends 1-1, not the worst result, I'm not actually disappointed with that, considering the way the episode went as well, we picked up a lot of points there, I'm going to draw here isn't the worst result, considering we rested a lot of our players, but we dominated the game, guys, we really did, and that chance at the end there with Griezmann, again, means that he's not going to be getting a goal in La Liga this, this episode, which was a little bit of a shame, guys, you know, we do want Griezmann to be getting a few more goals. At the moment, we're heavily relying on Lamar to get our goals, which I don't really like. Um, I like Griezmann up there for sure. He's on seven, and, um, well, hopefully he can get a few more in the, in the near future. But there you go, guys. You know, it's looking really interesting, La Liga, right now, guys. We're going to do a bit more advanced, and we're going to leave it um, so we're just before the transfer window, but I need your guys' help. Um, and let me know why my players are losing energy so quick. That's one of the things. But also, the most important that you guys can actually help me with um, is actually going to be um, 
some transfer suggestions. I'm really looking forward for you guys to maybe give me some players that we can look at, a centre-back, centre-mid, and an attacker. Um, but yeah, what we're actually going to be doing here is some more um, training, but we're going to be doing it for this guy instead here, guys. I'm looking to improve his stamina, but I, I can't see it there. So we're just, we'll just improve his pace for now, Montero. Um, and yeah, again, we're going to be training Montero, basically, because I didn't get to training before, and I really wanted to. So there you go. Um, Gathes is now 70 rated. He doesn't need any more training. He's absolutely fine being that. And then the next episodes, we'll be training Moyeho and Montero, getting him up to around about a 70 rated mark. Um, and that's looking good, if I'm being honest. Got an Ecuador management offer here. I think it's a matter of time before Spain come asking for us. That'll be really interesting to see if we can get a Spain job. Um, this year, that'll be really nice to see. And as you can see, guys, the transfer window is just upon us. Montero wants to play this game against Alaves. We'll see what we do about that. Um, but for now, thank you guys for watching this episode. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave more transfer suggestions. I'll try and get some down myself too. Um, and for now, it's been a pleasure to record this episode, guys. Pretty eventful episode. Look how tight that eager is right now. I'm loving it at the top of the league. Um, so yeah, guys, let, let, let's, let's keep going in this manner. And we should be good. I'll see you guys very, very soon. But for now... Goodbye. <laughs>